Welcome to Strength Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. I am doing another live stream today on Sunday because I am going to change an M92 chip on my on my Nintendo Switch that I believe has an M92 chip problem and I have talked about it um, with the coder um, let me just say that I'm live here so I have this switch it um, it draws a small charge current uh, with the battery connected but um, talking to some people online especially the coder on his channel um, we think it's the M92 T36 chip let's go to the overhead camera here and let me switch this oh, hold on a minute oh. wow that's insane okay so we got the overhead camera here. I have this. Let me put up the microscope camera. No, nope, that's not that's not what I want. I want that. I want that. I want to give me that. There we go. So there's the chip right there. It's weird that it wouldn't do that. So there's the chip. Um, I'm going to turn on my hot air station it is an Xtronic 5040 model now I have my air set to uh, 350 and I'm just gonna wait for a couple people I have my air set to 350 what what temperature would you recommend coder on this um, hot air station um, Um, I'm gonna set it to 400. Oh, 420. Wow. Okay. Okay, 420 it is. And then I have a. Um, let me just show you the nozzle that I have on there. Um, let's go to. That is the size nozzle that I have. Um, that's my smallest nozzle. I don't know if that is a good size nozzle for that. Um, as you can see that there so let's go back to that now I'm going to put that back on there turn that on and let me get my flux not that flux no nope, not that flux yeah that flux so I'm going to use my uh, chip quick here, SMD90, so uh, the air pressure may be about twelve that twice that size, seriously? I don't want to knock off my 201 components. But I will go one size bigger. Alright, one size bigger. So, that's what I have on there now. So, if I show you compared to the chip, it is, it is bigger than the chip. I don't know if you can see that. It is definitely bigger than the chip. Oh, no chip quick, huh? Okay, well we're going to try this. I've no, We're going to try this live here. Let me turn on my station now. And it does it does tend to heat up pretty quick, so it is at um, it's already at temp, but I need to um, move some stuff out of the way to 
get my arm in there. So I'm going to set my airflow to about 40, 40%. 40 uh, so... Let's see, are you bubbling? Okay. There we go. I lifted it off and I am going to put my air gun up. Okay, that's the first time I pulled the chip and I don't see anything knocked off. Um, do you see anything knocked off? I'm not seeing anything knocked off. I'm giving me five points for that. I didn't knock anything off. Wow. Woo, yay me! Oh, that's cool. I never pulled a board level chip before. So, um, let's see if we can see what that looked like underneath there. Oh, I don't see anything visibly wrong with it, but. And I don't see anything disturbed. No, I don't see anything disturbed. Maybe this transistor right here, um, can you see this transistor? This transistor looks a little um, like I balled up the solder in the corner there. So put that chip down, not get it confused with my other one. So now I am going to get that on screen better, maybe a little bit better focus. Now a little spade tip and just replace the solder on the solder pad. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my iron that is at 400. I'm going to put, okay, hold on a minute, guys. I need to move this microscope closer. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to put a little bit of flux on there. A lot of flux. It's Lewis Rossman amount of flux. tip I have this little tip right here that's the tip I have I'm not getting enough heat on that ground pad, so I am going to need a bigger tip. So. I'm going to whip out my bigger tip here. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not getting enough heat in that middle pad to, um, 
to with that little tip so I'm going to I'm going to get my other iron here I'm going to heat it up now this is my um, this is my uh, TS80 it takes a little longer to heat up because it's only running at 8.5 volts but um, it's got a bigger tip for that ground pad because um, it's pain in the butt to switch tips on my soldering iron so I'm going to okay so should I wick any of that off should any of that get wicked off Oh, hot air at the same time. Alright, let me clean it. Um, let me clean the area with some IPA. I use flux remover from MG Chemicals. Okay, so I think that that is super dirty with fibers. I need more flux remover. So now let me get back into position for placing the new chip. So yeah, I yeah, I yeah, I used the cotton, but I think it's clean there. Um, I, I could dab it with the toothbrush. But do you think the pads look good there or or we'll, we'll dab with the toothbrush. Then I'll dry the board there real quick just dry that up learn that from you dry the board with the hot air gun good idea I like that okay so I have the solder on the pads now let's get the chip here so I have the chip here that's an M92 oh, M92 I have brand new M92s that came in last night. Now, I'm not sure that this is the complete problem with this, but it is the next thing to check in the symptoms. Now, let me add another little dab of flux to it. Okay. Okay, now, pin one is this arrow right there. So going to put that on there and basically put it in position now you recommend that um, so yeah, the pads are good, but I tend to use a knife tip. Yeah, um, I'm working on getting my soldering tips sorted out. I have, again, I, I came unprepared to this. Um, I'm going to use the same temperature 
at the same airspeed, I would assume, on this. Um, is that correct? Uh, um, if you're using 30% air at 420, tack the chip down and then ramp up the air. Okay. Discombobulated there. that way okay now nope Touching it. Okay. Now that's a little bit not. We're going to check that because that may be as close as. Uh, okay. Push down on the chip? Is that not. Okay. Now if you push down gently on the ramp up the air to 50. Okay. So let's, let's get back in there and push down on the chip here. down on the chip okay so now I got solder blob squeezed out that's what I was looking for okay so now let's clean this up and I still don't see any components missing so I'm just gonna clean that up right there and then I'm going to turn it this way See, I think it's, is is it too far over? Do I have to reposition it? Do, do I need to reposition it? Is it is it too far over? I think it is. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo it. Ugh, this is killing me. I'm just going to add another little bit of flux to it there. So... No. Okay, that that doesn't look. How does that look on that side? Okay, that doesn't look bad. Okay, that looks better to me. Um, yeah, I think that I think that's better. Okay, now let's check for solder bridges here. Um, 
doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's my first one. I'm going to touch up these pads on the side here um, with a little bit. So I'm going to clean this with some, I'm going to let that cool down, and then I'm going to clean it. So Okay, so There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back and I'm going to pull this out of this board holder and I'm going to take you off this one and come down here. So that is done and out and that is cooling down. Um, so I am going to get out a battery. get out my test battery. I'm going to knock a bunch of stuff over. So I'm going to get out my test battery and my power meter and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so get my power meter here. And we're going to see what happens when I hook power to it. That's what I do, right? Hook power to it. Okay. Okay, so... That has cooled down. So, we are going to see what happens. It could blow up, it could not blow up, but we're going to see it together. So I'm going to hook the battery to it. Now I'm going to hook the power meter to it. And we're going to see what the power meter says. It's drawing 0.5 amps. So I don't know if that's normal or, or good. So that's what it did before. So, I don't know, what do you think about that? The 0.5, oh, you can't see that. That's what it's drawing on the meter, which is like 28 milliamps higher than what it actually draws, because this meter draws 28 milliamps. So, that is drawing that kind of current. Um, I don't feel any heat anywhere. So, I don't want to leave that on there. So that, that, yeah, that's what it um, shows there. So what do you think about that? Should I reassemble it and see if it works? Or do you think it still has an issue? Oh, it showed 500 milliamps. 0.5. Oh, yeah, 0.5. Um, let, me, let me do it again. There you go. See, it draws 0.5. Boom. Okay, so you think I should put the whole thing back together? Yeah, that, see this thing is like 28 milliamps off. It like 30 milliamps, This the meter itself draws that. Like if I unplug it, oh it's not going to do it now, but just, just the meter itself draws like 30 milliamps, it's insane. 
this is like a crap um, a crap meter I'm not a fan of it but the little dodgy method I was telling you about um, and yeah the, the dodgy method that I had didn't work out so so you're saying just connect up the power button the LCD the power button and the backlight in the battery okay I didn't know you could just do those things that's cool okay so so let's see here It's got to go in the... Okay, so... Okay, so you said the backlight. Backlight. This is not, this is my least favorite connector here. definitely needs to get a good cleaning okay so then we have the power button here I'm sorry I haven't checked the chat yet and now the battery Okay, now, um, now I'm going to try to turn it on here. It does not turn on. Let's check the current meter and see if it shows a battery uh, symbol here. Okay, so we're drawing the 0.5 and we're not having any image on the unit at all. So, still drawing the 0.5 though. Yeah, um, so I got the backlight hooked up, I got the LCD hooked up, I got the power button hooked up, um, and uh, the battery is connected, so I am not getting any kind of visuals on the screen or any kind of increased power consumption. 
Uh, no, the GPU is not getting warm at all. I either did a bad job on that M92 chip or it is um, the P13 chip possibly. So I'm not sure. This one's been dogging me, let me tell you. The chip looks pretty good. So Oh, is that the thing that clips into here? Right there? Do you need me to plug that in? Oh. You didn't say hook up the NAND. You said hook up the the you did not say that. Okay, here we go. We're going to plug this in now. We're going to unhook the battery before we plug that in. Okay, now we're going to plug in the battery. I swear, if it's because I didn't have that NAND plugged in, I'm going to be, like, super pissed. No, it doesn't show anything either. Still drilling 500 and no battery symbol or anything. And I don't feel the... I don't feel anything getting um, warm. And that is a known good battery. I do know that battery. Yeah. <laughs> plug in the NAND. <laughs> I don't know, man. I never. I'm new to this board level repair thing. Yeah, I'm not feeling any heat from the GPU at all. If I press the power button, nothing seems to happen. Yeah, that, that's the correct NAND module for this board. Yeah, that's the right one. It keeps it, it keep it in the same box as um, the other um, parts for this one. I keep it all pretty well organized. So, yeah, I keep everything in um, one of these little boxes. It's got the screws in it and all its modules, and then it has a number, a number on the box, and then a number on the unit itself. So, I only have two currently anyway, so I really can't, you know, get them too mixed up. So, are you thinking that it's, I should swap that uh, P13 chip too and see what happens? It can't hurt. Yeah, the, no, nothing short on the board here. I'll, I'll show you on the... Um, let me just pull this board back out here. show you over here um, well, we'll do it under the microscope here so there is the P13 
GPS chip, and then if I um, go to this one, I just Um, it gets a little bit warm, but not, like, hot. It doesn't get, like, crazy hot. Um, let me go to continuity mode here. Continuity. So if I go to continuity mode, and I take my two probes, and I put this probe on ground here and I actually switch to the microscope no not that one this one I actually switch to the microscope where is it at there's my ground and then I can swap to this one and if I touch these caps here like that's that's grounded but that's not and then like all these caps are the same I think these are filter caps but we'll check it ground not ground so I mean I checked all these so. they're actually reading open line is that you think that's normal for these caps right here Another one, neither one of those caps is tied to ground, but it's hard to tell. I want to. Oh, that's weird. Those those caps are open. I'm not sure if that's how it normally um, is supposed to go. Uh, yeah, the EMI filters, they're all good. Um, let's just check those just so for thoroughness. Yeah, the EMI filters, um, these are good. I checked these. Okay. So, these are all... So, yeah, but I, I checked, it's hard to do it when I'm not directly over it. So, oh, check them from left to right, seriously? I didn't do that, so... No, not shorted from left to right. No, it doesn't appear that they're shorted from left to right. I didn't know you should check that. See, good tip, good tip, good tip. So, the only thing, like I said, um, that, that was weird was this line over here. Um, next to this power management IC, if you if you check this cap right here, it is it is low, but I'm pretty sure that that's a low impedance line um, with the two inductors. I believe that um, from tracing out the circuit that I've traced out from these two inductors, I believe this is actual power management for the GPU or the CPU or whatever APU, whatever runs this. Um, system on a chip, whatever it is. Um, no, they're not short at the ground. I checked that. I, I checked the filters to make sure they weren't short at the ground. We can do it again. Uh, 
And I was really hoping I was going to get an easy win with that M92 chip. Um, no, I'm not shorted to ground. Yeah, system on a chip, that's what I thought. I just. Um. Yeah, it's just. It's strange. But it definitely seems like the that shorted um, indu this inductor pair here and this inductor and then this set of capacitors is the dual power core for the um, Sismon chip. And it's going to be low impedance because if it's 0.9 volts um, power rail, then 40 ohms resistance to ground is, is going to be normal and that's going to be fine. But, you know, if it's a, you know, it's a 1V8 line or a, you know, 3.3 volt line, then that's too low. But it looks like it's going to be low power. Yeah, I, I spent a good hour and a half checking all the capacitors. Let me check the ones around M92 again and make sure that that chip I put down is not having any faults. The bigger account of the Mac chip art. Mac. Bigger caps around the outer edge. You talking about these two? You talking about these two right here? Because these two are not shorted to ground. Just this single one over here is. And it's 55 ohms. Yeah, so the, the, these two are fine. It's just this one lonely cap that is 55 ohms to ground. And it's not the cap itself. The internal resistance of the cap is uh, mega ohms. So I know that cap is not shorted. Yeah, so see that that's definitely going to be a low power line. So yeah, so that's going to be a low power. So I'm back to having no shorted caps or uh, any issues. I could have not done that max chip very well. I mean, it seems to look okay. I didn't blow any components off. That's a plus for me. You know, I thought for sure I was going to blow off some components, but I didn't. So. So all I can think of is reflowing that chip 
and trying it again and if that doesn't work change that P13 chip that's what I'm thinking but it's 7.30 my son's out here and my knee is shot so I am going to call this I appreciate your help coder I'm going to um, check the voltages on the coil next to the battery IC when the charger is in and the battery is connected Okay, I'll, I'll do that off stream because my knee is shot and I, I got to get some medicine and put some heat on it. Um, I will I will let you know what that is um, in a message. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you.